Welcome back to this episode. Today we are going to take a look at how to create a relative frequency distribution. So let's take a look at an example here. We have a survey that a library took to look at the age distribution of 50 randomly selected new youth members. So here are the results in the table. We have four new members in the age group of three to five. We have eight new members in the age group of six to eight, so on and so forth. And we want to get the percentage for each category. Remember, relative frequency is a fancy word for percent. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to click on the little window here. We're going to build an expression which will take each one of these, each value here, and divide by the total. So let's open this in StatCrunch. And we'll spread this out a little bit further here. So we've got the age group, and we've got the new members, and we want to build a new expression. So we're going to go to Data, Compute Expression, and we'll give it a column label. We'll label it relative frequency. And we'll go ahead and build the expression. So we'll add, uh, we, now we'll think about what we're going to do here, folks. We're going to take the number of new members, each one of these values, and divide by the sum of these numbers here. So let's go ahead and add this column. And then we're going to divide by the sum. So let's scroll down till we see the sum function and we'll add that. And then the sum of what? Well, the sum of the new members. So we'll just click on new members again and we'll add that. And that's all there is, folks. And we can click OK. And we'll go ahead and compute. And so here we have a nice column that quickly takes this number divided by total, this number divided by total, this number divided by total, and this number, and so on and so forth. Okay, hope this helps. See you next time.